So hi, I'm Maureen Mitchell, former intern at the Vermont Council on World Affairs, and I'm sitting down here with Eli Harrington, who is the director of the International Visitor Groups here. So I just kind of want to talk to him and find out a little bit about the organization. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Maureen. Yeah. Um, as you know, yeah. um, but as many of you might not know, the Vermont Council on World Affairs is a 60-year-old nonprofit organization located here in Burlington, Vermont, and affiliated with the Lake Champlain Regional Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Uh, we are our own independent 51C3 nonprofit, and our mission is promoting global awareness and creating opportunities for cultural exchange. So one of the big ways that we do this is through our international visitor programs. Uh, the main one being the U.S. Department of State's International Visitor Leadership Program, which we coordinate. Uh, we're one of 95 local councils around the country who all work with organizations in D.C the State Department itself, and our friends at the National Council of International Visitors, our parent organization. So the way that these programs work is they have a diplomatic mission, but they are focused on project themes. So I don't go and say I want to get a group from Brazil this month, although I would love to have one. <laughs> yeah. um, we look at the themes and think about what's a good fit for Vermont. Our colleagues in D.C. are always doing research and contacting us to ask us if we'd like to do programs. So. You know, our programs are basically set up as little mini short-term trade missions where a uh, project might be about energy efficiency, sustainable agriculture, uh, border and international trade issues, um, university administration, creative industries, you know, a whole range of topics that we've been able to cover here. Um, so, you know, even though these are arranged around themes, the underlying goal of these projects is citizen diplomacy, which I don't know if... You had ever heard the term citizen diplomacy yeah, before really. you started yeah. working. Yeah. Um, a lot of people haven't, and that's one of the reasons why I'm you know, really excited to be talking with you. Citizen diplomacy is the concept that Americans have the right, if not the responsibility, to affect foreign relations, um, as we say, one handshake at a time. So the idea is that regular, average Americans, if there is such a thing, uh, can, you know, just by interacting with international visitors, talking with them about their work, or about their lives will give them a much better insight into what life is actually like here in the U.S. So, you know, these programs are great for our organization because we're able to connect our international visitors with, you know, uh, Vermonters, people in the area, and we want to encourage people to participate. So, one of the really fun things for me has been doing the internship programs in particular because this is something I didn't really know about when I was in school, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of fell backwards into it when I graduated and, and found this great organization. But it's really a great opportunity, especially you know, for young people who are studying international business or international relations or you know, even more domestic things like nonprofit marketing, yep. um, you know, because we are a small nonprofit. So it's, uh, it's been great, and it's, it's fun to talk with you as a former intern and yeah. as well. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, the, internship, the internship programs themselves are, we typically have three to four interns at any given time. Uh, and our interns are here either for volunteer purposes or for academic credit yep. currently. Uh, we're a small nonprofit. Um, so, you know, it's really been fun. We work with regularly Champlain College, St. Michael's College, University of Vermont. We work with Middlebury and Norwich, you know, Vermont Law School, all of these great institutions. Most of our internships happen, you know, with students from. Champlain, St. Michael's, or UVM, just because of geography, people being able to commute. But we yeah. have had Middlebury students in the past, and uh, and love whenever you know whenever I get a chance to work with students, it's great. Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah, I mean, I just know that you've helped me out a lot, and this internship has just been such a good, well-rounded experience for me. So. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Do you have a? Is there a favorite memory of yours? Oh yeah, I mean, I think that just like the highlight is meeting these international vis visitors because here in Vermont, you know, we're not necessarily exposed to that. So when we get groups here and we get to interact and learn about their cultures and their families and their work, it's just so interesting. And you just feel a lot closer and kind of the world's coming together. And yeah. I just really love that. I mean, I love, I mean, international business and stuff. So it's really kind of a passion of mine, but it's really, I mean, I love meeting new people too. So. And I think it's like all the fun parts of traveling as far as all the people that you get to meet. Exactly. You know, but it's sort of a different facet because you're sharing your home with them. Exactly. And it's like I just went abroad for a year and then, you know, and I was, it was kind of the opposite. And I love like when they come here and like comforting the one day, you know, they're like, oh no, like they were, they were sick of American food and stuff. So I tried to, you know, go and 
get like a European market or something for them to feel closer to home. So anything that I can do because I know what it's like being overseas and so you know anything to make them more comfortable and make their experience here really great is you know I'm happy to help. So And they just learn so much more especially talking with, with students and that's yeah. one reason why you know throughout the course of our internship programs we have our interns working on every facet of the International Visitor Program, mm -hmm. you know, starting out with research so you know what you're talking about, yeah. you know, helping out with office work, and then actually going out with the visitor groups. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fun for me, but it's also great for the visitors because, yeah. you know, interacting with students, you know, people like yourself have traveled a lot and traveled more recently, so those memories are fresh and they're mm -hmm. excited to, you know, practice their Spanish or their Mandarin yep. if there's a group in town, or just share their homes. You know, and I know that they really love interacting with students because you guys have a, a, a different perspective. You know, they meet with professionals and they get one impression and then they meet with students and have another impression. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's great because a lot of these visitors who come on the program are, you know, emerging and upcoming leaders. Yeah. So it's also great because a lot of them tend to be younger or work with youth. And we're seeing a lot more youth-oriented programs sort of come down the pike. I mean, mm -hmm. there's 1.8 billion people in the world between the ages of 10 and 24. Wow. right now so yeah. you know this is a, a big focus coming down the line and you know we've actually started to expand more with actually high school programs so even getting students involved whether they're hosting um, European teenagers at their house or you know coming with us for a barbecue or participating in the program and yeah, traveling to Europe exactly. themselves it's never too early to start you know yeah exactly and, great. you know I, I actually meet a lot of interns who say you know what really sparked my interest is we had a guy come in and give a presentation about Japanese culture when I was in middle school in Japan and I loved it and ever since then I've been you know really really into it or you know I did a high school exchange trip and I learned how much I love to travel and meet new people and you know so it's great because the younger that you reach people the more you sort of inspire them to think outside of their own you know small small bubble absolutely which we have here for sure yeah you know so the internships have been great and then there's also a lot of ways for volunteers to get involved too um, you know, like I said, the point of this program is to connect with the visitors with, you know, regular American citizens. So, you know, I might call your office up or somebody from our organization might call your office up looking for an appointment uh, because we have a group that does a, works in a similar sector as you. You know, but we also have a lot of opportunities to participate just as sort of cultural guides. Um, if you wanted to host a group at your house, if you enjoy hosting or there's somebody coming from a country you visited recently and you'd like to have them for dinner, you know, when we can get groups inside American homes, that is the best. You know, it's usually a highlight of one of the highlights of their trip. And for them, I mean, you just learn so much more. I'm sure you remember, mm -hmm. you know, actually being able to go into people's houses and see oh, how their yeah. families interact, you know, what they eat for dinner. Yeah. You know, those things that give you a much deeper and richer appreciation. Yeah, of, you, you go know, from like a tourist to actually part of the community and feeling more yeah. involved, which I think is really important. Well, and now with, you know, Skype and Facebook and, you know, I mean, just the spread of the internet and technology in general, it's so much easier to stay in touch with these people too. Yes, absolutely. You know, I mean, I Facebook chat with visitors we've had or, you know, we'll tweet them from time to time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we like to, um, there are a lot of ways to, to get involved as a volunteer. You know, if you're a student and you're interested in an internship, that's great. If you're a student who, you know, just wants to spend some time with a, a visitor group and share Burlington and share Vermont with them, that's great too. You know, if you can't host somebody at your house for dinner, Maybe you can meet us on Church Street and show people around, you know, help them with shopping. Yeah, you know, the yeah, visitors yeah. <laughs> do love to shop, um, which is great for our economic impact in the yeah. area. It's something yeah. that we can't say enough about. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just meeting people for coffee and, and sort of just being a guide. Uh, so it's been a, it's really a great, great program. We've been very fortunate here to have the support of the Chamber, you know, and to just sort of be building out our network and working more closely with all the schools in the area. You know, so I think that we've made some good progress and that, you know, really the sky's the limit. And like I said, for Burlington and for Vermont, you know, we've got an interesting dynamic global community here, mm -hmm. you know, but we don't see that all the time. In New York, you know, you'll run into people, you might meet 50 different nationalities in one day. Yeah, exactly. You know, here in Vermont, you might meet 50 Canadians in one day, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but as far as actually being able to interact with a lot of different people, um, this is a really great way to do it. So we feel like we've got a really, you know, important role in the community as far as educating people, connecting them up with our visitors and, uh, you know, it's been great. So thank you very yeah, much for, you for, for your Yeah, thank you for sharing part. this. Yeah. Well, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. I mean, we've been so lucky. I mean, and our, our interns were very, very fortunate that we get a lot of really, you know, smart, bright, motivated, energetic people to come work for us. You know, so it's really been the best of all worlds. And it's, uh, 
it's great to be here talking with you and yeah. you know, great to hear how much you've gotten out of the experience yourself. Yeah. And I hope people learn from this and you know find out a little bit more and, and are interested in uh, getting involved yeah. in the Vermont Council on World Affairs. Well, the internships and the volunteer opportunities are, are limitless. So, yes. uh, you know, all of our information is online at www.vcwa.org. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, if you want to really get an idea of what we do, you can check out our YouTube page, which you're probably already on right now, <laughs> um, and see some of our other videos of our international visitors in the area. Yep. You know, we try to put people right in the scene so they can see people interacting and kind of what it's all about. So It's great to get a visual on it. So, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, check us out. You know, you can contact Maureen. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to be around and volunteering with us. You know, as long as you can, yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as well, as long as you will. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and we just encourage you guys to get involved. Yeah, absolutely. So, Great. Thank you for your time. No problem. Great. Thank nice you. you. All right. My name is Ben Brownstein. I was a former intern with the VCWA last summer, and I'm here with Maureen Mitchell, another former intern with the VCWA last summer. So, Maureen, um, how did you hear about the uh, internship? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story. So. Um, I go to Champlain and I'm an international business major and part of our curriculum the third year is getting an internship. So, you know, I was I didn't really know what to do. I knew I wanted to get involved with an international organization. So I actually just used Google and searched like international organizations in Vermont and the, one of the first things that came up was the Vermont Council on World Affairs. So I contacted them to kind of find out about more about the organization and I really liked it and I got an interview and I got the internship so that's how it started. It's always uh, a good way to go. Yeah, right? <laughs> so uh, when did you intern? So I entered last summer which is uh, summer 2011. Yep, yeah, for the whole summer. started around June and went through uh, the summer and now I've just been connected with them ever since doing projects, marketing, all sorts of things. So Yeah, yeah. definitely. So uh, what was your experience like during the internship? Well, it was pretty interesting because it was my first time like out in the field really having an internship. So everything was so new to me. Yeah. And I did overcome a lot of um, kind of obstacles because I've never been in a workplace. So just that kind of whole um, interaction is really interesting. Uh, but it was really great. It was like such a small environment because there's only like two employees here. And then the rest are like volunteers and interns. So um, I got really close. I, got, I learned a lot. Um, so, yeah, really definitely. Great. I mean, I know from my experience, it definitely felt like an intimate setting, and just, you know, you're essentially with with a team, and you yeah. really have to work together. Exactly. I wasn't just getting coffee or making, you know, yeah, copies or anything. Yeah, I was like, really like, yeah. I dove into uh, the organization and worked on all the parts, which was so great. I felt like I got such a well-rounded experience yeah, from that. So. Yeah, you always hear about other internships where uh, interns are shredding paper. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was awesome to kind of, you know, have that experience yeah. where you're actually doing things. To be given responsibility. Yeah, too, so. definitely. So what was your daily task like on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, so basically the Vermont Council on World Affairs does a lot. Um, one of the main things that I worked on was the State Department's um, International uh, Visitor Leadership Program. So we bring in uh, groups all from all around the world to Vermont to learn about things that Vermont's really good at, like green energy, sustainable agriculture, uh, all sorts of things, forestry. So what I would do is write the proposals to get the visitors to come to Vermont. So I would look up businesses that they would be interested in visiting for professional appointments and also cultural activities. Um, and then we'd send the itineraries out and, uh, you know, if they thought it was a good fit, then we would get the group and then they would come to Vermont. So in the summer we had a bunch of groups from all over the world, mm -hmm. like China, Brazil, Portugal, uh, Eastern Europe. So I got to meet a lot of different people. Um, and then also when they were here, I created the itineraries and kind of led them around too on the buses and uh, led them on the professional appointments, so that was great. Other things I did, I did a lot with social media because, as you know, kind of with a nonprofit organization, yeah. we don't have a big marketing budget, so yeah, social media is so popular right now, so I just updated their Facebook and Twitter accounts and posted yeah. pictures to kind of get the word out there. Yeah, so. definitely. So uh, what kind of challenges did you uh, have to overcome while you were injured? Yeah, basically just uh, getting comfortable with, you know, being in a work environment. And my I thought my communication skills were really good, but then I would have to, like, use the phone a lot to people I've never talked to before. And I always, like, you know, especially I didn't know a lot about the organization at first, so I would stumble over my words and just yeah. get so <laughs> nervous. And, you know, that was just funny. But, um, you know, I improved every day, and it was really good, so... 
Yeah, definitely. It's definitely, I remember just kind of putting you on the spot when you call someone and, you know, yeah. you're kind of like, oh, what should I say? But it's one of those things, you know, the more you practice, practice you obviously. get better. Oh, yeah. yeah, now I feel much more confident, so that's great. Uh, does, do you think this will make you uh, more prepared for future jobs or careers? Oh, absolutely. I felt like I learned so much. I learned about, you know, marketing, international visitors, social media, uh, business writing, just such a variety. Uh, activities and I feel like I really know how like nonprofit organizations work now too. Yeah. Um, you know how they're funded and you know just the challenges that they overcome and it's a really really interesting field to be in. Yeah. So I feel like you know and even going into the private sector I feel like I'll do really well you know I can go into a new environment and feel confident because I've already had this experience and you know and I haven't even graduated um, college yet so I feel really good about that and you know I wish I did an internship before my junior year in college you know you know but yeah. I'm really happy to have had this experience awesome so is there any advice you give to me any future interns or volunteers with the VCWA yeah I would just say um, go in with a positive attitude and try your best and especially here what I learned like don't be afraid to ask questions if you don't know know how to do something which I mean, you're not you're not expected to either. Obviously, yeah. yeah, and that's like you know, and it's sometimes I'm like, oh no, am I like taking away from their time if I'm asking them questions? But it wasn't like that at all. It was such a great environment. So yeah, I would just say jump into it and just you know have open arms and just learn and just soak up everything in because it's a really great experience. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely recommend anyone to come intern here, volunteer. It's a really great organization. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for uh, joining us today. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Hi, Ben. How are you doing today? Good, Marine. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Great. So I just brought you here. I just want to, um, you know, find out a little bit about your inter internship experience at the Vermont Council on World Affairs. So, um, first of all, how did you hear about the internship? Oh, uh, I first heard about the Vermont Council on World Affairs internship uh, through an email listserv last fall. Um, I knew I was going to enter my senior year, and I really needed an internship. So yeah, exactly. when I saw um, Vermont Council of Affairs, I, I knew it sounded like a great opportunity for me to kind of pursue what I eventually want to do. Really, that's awesome. Yeah. Great. And what major are you, and what were you kind of looking? Uh, I'm a political science major with a okay. minor in environmental studies, and uh, eventually I want to kind of go into the international development field. And of course, you know, international relations is definitely something that's relevant with that field. So I knew this would be a perfect opportunity for me to get my foot in the door and kind of, you know, explore more about the uh, field and whatnot. Great. So, and when did you do uh, do your internship exactly? I did my internship last summer, okay. um, but since then I've definitely stayed involved with them. Uh, we started doing a lot of programs on UVM's campus. That's great. Uh, we started doing careers such as in, in international development and, and international relations. Uh, it's really nice to be able to kind of reach out to other students who were in my boat last year who who want to kind of get their foot in the door and don't really know how to. So it's kind of it's a really good experience to kind of help students uh, who were in my position last year as well. Yeah, definitely, because I know it could be hard to get internships. It's really yeah. competitive out there, lots of students. Oh, so. yeah. um, and would you just describe a little bit about the internship? Um, what what did you do during the day? And Yeah, definitely. It really ranged. Um, every day was different. Some days we would be doing writing proposals for the State Department's uh, International Visitor Leadership Program. That's great. Uh, writing proposals to you know, try to get them to Vermont and basically say, uh, Vermont's awesome, this is why you guys should come here. And, uh, and if it, we did get accepted, then we'd have to create itineraries for the visitors of what they're going to do every day. Uh, other times I was on the website creating YouTube videos for the, uh, for the, for the social media campaign. I was updating the Facebook. Um, sometimes um, my favorite part of the internship was uh, interacting with the visitors. Of course, I remember in July we probably had like five or six of our visitor groups. Yeah, there was a lot, a lot of people oh, yeah. there. It was a pretty hectic oh, time. Oh yeah, it got yeah, a little it was crazy. really fun. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so my, all my thing was I was with the visitors and I would take them around Vermont. So that was awesome to be with them and you know really act as an as an ambassador to uh, Vermont to America, and just it was awesome seeing these. Uh, exchanges in person, seeing these uh, professional exchanges with the delegates and uh, professionals within Vermont and really, you know, make connections that would have, like, an impact. So that was yeah. awesome. That's a really unique experience, yeah. definitely. definitely. So throughout this process, did you um, overcome any challenges or what was the kind of, like, the hard parts about it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Making uh, the itineraries, it was definitely challenging because you have to balance time frames, you know, make sure all the appointments were 
appointment at the right time and make sure there's enough time to get from one appointment from point A to point B. Sometimes you have an appointment here in Burlington and then an hour and a half later you would have an appointment in uh, Waterbury. So you, know, you really have to make sure that the appointments were on time and everything was going you know, smoothly. Uh, also, just sometimes getting the appointments wasn't the easiest thing. Sometimes you have to call, call people. Sometimes they worked with us in the past, but other times they never even heard of the, uh, the BCWA. So it was really, then you have, on the phone you have to basically say what we are and say why we want an hour or two hours of your time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I would say, you know, balancing those things was definitely something that was challenging. And, you know, after a while it definitely became easier to do, but there was always uh, challenges. And, yeah, you know, exactly. Getting that done. So finally, what um, advice would you give to other interns interested in the Vermont Council on World Affairs coming in? I would definitely give them advice that it's a great experience and just definitely stay with it. You know, obviously at times, like anything else to do in life, it could be a little challenging at first, but you know, stay with it. It was it's a really great experience and it definitely pay off in the long run. Great. Well, thanks for sharing that with me.